Hi, thank you so much for joining me. This restorative practice is so that we can really give back to our own bodies and increase the flow of energy through our systems by recalibrating, by relaxing, and by opening ourselves up to our own internal wisdom and intelligence. So if you have it, bring along a blanket or two and a pillow, any sort of pillow will do. Um, you can even do some of these practices on your bed uh, if that feels better. So um, without uh, further ado, let's get started. So I'd like to begin in one of my all-time favorite um, restorative poses and that is a restorative child's pose. So for this pose you'll need um, a blanket. I've got a pretty thick one and a pillow and then I'm going to put both of those on the mat. And what we're doing here is we're really just allowing that part of the nervous system, the uh, parasympathetic nervous system, to get on board with our relaxation. So from here, you'll open the knees. If it's too much on your knees to sit like this, roll up another blanket or a yoga mat and place that underneath the backs of your knees. And then come forward. You want to scooch the pillow and the blanket so that you actually feel that on your lower abdomen. And part of that is because when we are working with the lower abdomen, we have this opportunity to um, get the vagus nerve, which is deeply and intimately connected to relaxing the body. We want that to be on board with us. I have my head initially turned to the left so that my left nostril is more exposed. And from here, encourage yourself to breathe in through the left nostril. It's really important that you breathe in through the left nostril. Uh, so if your head is turned the other way, see if you can turn it to the left. Inhale through the left nostril. And then tell yourself to exhale through the right nostril. Which is kind of funny. Inhale through the right nostril. And tell yourself to exhale through the left. Now sometimes we can do this with our fingers, but it is pandemic days, so we're not supposed to touch our face anyway. So let's try it with our mind. That's a more advanced technique, but I know you can do it. Inhale through the left. Exhale through the right. Good. Inhale through the right. Exhale through the left. Continue that process of inhaling through the left. Exhaling through the right. This and then inhale through the right. Exhale through the left. This type of alternate nostril breathing is deeply relaxing for the whole body. One more round is you'll want to exhale through the left as the final round. So together we'll inhale through the left. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Exhale through the left. And then turn your forehead so it's facing down. And you may feel like if you tuck your chin a little bit that the back of your neck elongates. And this can be very lovely and you can stay here in neutral or turn your head facing the other way. Where your left cheek is now on the uh, pillow blanket and the right cheek is up and just take another few breaths here. And at any point, like if you're in this pose and it starts to really speak to you, you could hit pause or, you know, just kind of ignore the next set of instructions. So the whole point is to help your body just relax and receive. So if you find that place that feels great, stay there. Otherwise, press yourself up to seated. We'll move the um, pillow off. And then if you have a wall nearby, this is gonna be amazing. If you don't, but you have a chair nearby, you can put your legs up on the chair. And I'm gonna show you with the wall, you'll put your legs, you'll, you're gonna scooch your hip 
I'm gonna do it this way. You're gonna scoot your hip towards the wall. And I'm, I'm sitting on my blanket, as you can see. And then you're gonna scoot your legs up. <laughs> it's kind of funny getting into it, but once you're there, you'll feel better. Now, reach up and grab that blanket or extra pillow, and I pop that right under your neck. Now, people say, oh, do you need your, do you, does your butt have to be on the wall? No, it does not, but it could. I mean, if you're there, great. Now, to make this deeply restorative, you can take a yoga strap. You don't have to, this is just an option, you guys. Take your yoga strap and thread the strap through both rings, the end, the long end through both rings, and then turn it back so that you're putting the second strap through the second of the D rings. What we're basically doing, you guys, is creating a little holster for our legs so we don't have to do the muscular work of keeping our legs up. And then put your legs through the little contraption you made here. Put the buckle in the middle so it's not pushing against your, your flesh. Then just tighten the buckle and let it go. Take it alongside you. Shimmy your shoulder blades down. All that beautiful work you've done today. Whatever happened, whatever didn't happen, just let it all go right here so that your whole nervous system can enjoy Legs up on the wall. Now, if you don't have a wall, you'll bend your knees, or if you want to try an alternative, and you can place the backs of your calves on a chair or a couch. Otherwise, legs up on the wall. I find it to be one of the most deeply restorative poses. It just allows your whole system to relax, and then you can systematically begin to release. So you can start at your feet the soles of your feet, you can kind of scan through, releasing all the bones and the fascia of each foot, releasing even the toes and in between the toes, that little space, the sides of the feet, the inner arches, your ankles, releasing through the heels, Letting go through the calves and the shin bones. The skin lets go, the muscles, all the tissues, all that work to hold us up, to get us moving on our day. We're just giving back in such a beautiful way. Bring your mind to your knees now and give them a little bit of love as if then the joints themselves are just settling down. Relax through your forehead and then go back. And you may notice like as you begin to relax through one part of you, another part tenses. So just find that if that happens, no biggie, just relax that part and then bring yourself back to where we are in the body scan. Relaxing through your quadriceps, your thighs, your hamstrings, the back of your legs. As if the muscles were just soft and heavy around the bone. And the bones were just releasing and letting go. And then relax the pelvis, the genitals, the hips, the bones of the entire abdominal region. So the hip bones the pelvic bones, the sacrum, the lower back, as if they're all just sinking into the mat, the buttocks just dropping down. Any tension, any trouble, just letting it go. Sending yourself a lot of light and love as you proceed through this beautiful body scan. Relaxing your ribs, relaxing the front of the body into the back of the body. So the front ribs descending into the back ribs and the back ribs releasing into the mat. All the organs, your abdominal organs, just dropping away. 
giving them all the work that they do. Give them a little gratitude nod. And releasing even the organ of the heart, letting there be a softness, a pliability, where you really come into your own open space. Relaxing the tops of the shoulders, shoulder blades, releasing through the clavicle, collarbone, the neck, the front of the throat and the back of the neck. Feeling a warmth coming over you down the upper shoulders, upper arms, the elbows, the wrist joints the palms just relaxing, each finger in its socket letting go. Opening ourselves up to a deeper vibration that is more eternal and that is beyond the fray of our day-to-day -day beyond the fluctuations of the mind and into a much deeper place of pure awareness and true love, eternal love. Relaxing your jaw, relaxing the eight bones of the skull and the 14 bones of your face as if there is a little more space in between the sutures where the bones of your face and the bones of your skull connect. Just the letting go of broadening, opening through the back of your heart, shoulder blades broaden. Feel a doming in the arch of your mouth, a relaxing of your tongue, a relax of your lips, your cheekbones, the skin at the center of your eyebrows. Relax through the hairline, the sides of your face, the eyelids, the place where the eyelashes connect to the eyelids, relaxing there. Deeply relaxing the back of your head right where at the base of the skull meets the back of your neck. Sending energy and light to that part of your body and then energy and light to your sacrum, the lowest part of your upper body as it moves into your legs. So that bony upside down triangular shaped structure that's at the base of the spinal column. And then bring your attention right back up to the suboccipital lobes right underneath the back of the skull, releasing and relaxing there, drawing any tension away and back to Mother Earth. Mm, letting your body just drift into this awareness of openness, of kindness. Um, allowing your breath to be your guide. Noticing that you may be going a little bit deeper into your own state of awareness. You may feel pulsations or a very subtle movement of energy through your whole system.
draw a big breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and let the breath go with the sigh. Ha. Try that one more time. Inhale through your nose. Ha. If you're preparing for bed, now would be a good time to flip around, turn off the computer and rest. If you're preparing to move on through your day, go ahead and set an intention. Perhaps it has to do with taking with you this calm equanimity that you've cultivated. And you can bring that with you as you move through your day with so much love and with a heart that's open to receive the love that's already in your life. I'm going to sign off here and I'm going to say namaste and thank you so much for practicing with me.